r slash ask reddit. Which character death hit you differently and why? I definitely fucked up by going into this comment section with all these spoilers, but that's on me. Fucking same bro. That girl from the bridge to Terabithia, that hit me so hard as an eight-year-old. Yeah, way to mess up primary school kids. Hank in Breaking Bad and Walter's face afterwards just matched mine. The way that series ended was just devastating. By that point, it was the happiest ending possible. Walter actually achieved everything he set out to do. But it was impossible to walk away without feeling horrible in the brutal but cathartic of a well-executed tragedy. Ben from Scrubs. He wasn't even a major character, but at the time he was Dr. Cox's only friend. The only one who made him a joyous person, and that gut punch of a twist was something else. Where do you think we are? That's the Brendan Fraser character, right? The guy who constantly took photos? I'm literally watching Scrubs right now, lol. Enjoy those eight seasons. Oberyn, you had him, dude. You effing had him. No, his death pissed me off. Same. I witnessed him defeat the unbeatable only to get killed due to arrogance. It shattered me when Brooks died in the Shawshank Redemption. Oh man, I just watched that movie again last night. Brooks was here. Boxer from Animal Farm. He worked so hard his whole life and to be sent to a glue farm while his best friend screams and runs behind him chills man. Almost stopped reading then and there because it hit me so hard. Maze Hughes from a Fmar for me. This and Nino make me cry so badly every time I watch them. I just started Amor for the first time last month, almost done with the Og series, but haven't touched Mob yet. I knew about Hugh's death, because I've seen the meme so much. It still hurt, but I've seen the meme so much. It still hurt, but I kind of figured out when it was going to happen and braced myself for it. Nina's death came out of nowhere. She and her dog were so cute they didn't deserve what they got. If her death. Fred Weasley was the most devastating death to me. I have a twin sister, so it hit extra hard for me. Picturing life without my twin is not a life at all. Stoic from How to Train Your Dragon 2. Not so much the way he died, but the funeral scene, the music, and the recital by Gaber. Oh yes, this is the one. He just got his wife back, family's all happy, and then he... dies. I didn't want to rewatch that movie for a long time because of how sad I felt about that. John Marston. He suffered so much in an attempt to move on from his past, killing all of his former comrades in the process. He finally reunited with his wife and kid, gets a small glimpse at a new life, and then he's shot down in front of a barn like a damn dog. Was painful to watch. Doubly so, after Ardu came out. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to because they got to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. That horse in the never-ending story. Artex, I'm 35 years old and still cannot watch that movie without crying when effing Artex dies in the goddamn swamp of sadness. The Netflix thumbnail for that movie is that very scene. It's a nice reminder that I don't want to rewatch that fever dream of a film. The Iron Giant. Give me a good, growling-voiced Superman, and I start to tear up. He did live, though. Yeah, literally the last shot of the movie is of his decapitated head opening its eyes and smiling. Actually, it's kind of creepy when you put it that way. Ellie from Up. The really sad bit is, thanks for the adventure, and I'll go have a new one. I think that's the only movie that ever got dust in my eyes at the beginning and the end. Boromir. First time I ever cried during a movie. Washburn in Serenity. He was my favorite character from Firefly, and I just wasn't expecting it at that point in the movie. That was my first date with my now husband. So on our first date, he got to see me cry, slash. Fry's Dog in Futurama. That episode was so heartfelt, and I just couldn't. Perhaps it hits different for me because my mum is a big Packers fan, but the episode about Fry's mum always makes me tear up. The Yancey episode, where he finds out his brother named his nephew for him and gave him the clover. Ooh. When Lee died in the Walking Dead game, that trap made me cry. That one was rough, even after a second playthrough. I've been thinking of replaying the series. They're so good. I'd love another series like that. Tadashi Hamada in Big Hero 6. Tadashi is here. Fives? I didn't mean to. I only wanted to do my duty. Sam, the dog, in I Am Legend, because he was Smith's friend and he had to put her down. I watched this movie with a group of friends in the theatre. 
Sidebar. Ugga, I miss going to the movies so much. And one of my friends pulled me out of the theatre to tell me to get my crap together because I was sobbing so hard. Sam looks just like my first and best dog. Uncle Iro's son from Avatar The Last Airbender. Tales of Bussing Say The Real Avatar. Last Airbender, not the hack version from M. Night Shyamalan. You're never introduced to him, but you can convey from the deep sorrow Iro pours out how his death affected his personal purview and moral edit. It made me cherish the worlds, friendships and lives you build with people because you are an influence to many. And pouring poison into a vessel is a quick way to make you regret how you passed along what you said and did. Happy birthday, my son. If only I could have helped you. Thomas J. from My Girl. When Varde is crying at his funeral, screaming about his glasses. That hits different. Gets me every time. He needs his glasses. He can't see without his glasses. Ah, uh, still cuts. Captain K's death in Jojo Rabbit watched it last night expecting the mom to die, but the captain's death made me tear up because it was unexpected. Sam Rockwell was amazing in that role. I don't associate empathy and pathos with Nazis, but damn if he didn't deliver exactly that. Sarah Lynn from Bojack Horseman. Especially as you find out more detail of that night in later seasons. This. The fact you realize why Bojack is really scared of everyone knowing the truth. I spent so long think, yeah, I get it. But what's he so afraid of he can't legally and to some people morally be held accountable? But waiting 17 minutes, it makes it all the more eye-opening. Bojack isn't a good guy. Ellie, from Up. My so is relatively quiet and I'm the complete opposite. Energetic, always have something to say. We've been together for 10 years now and met at 16. I worry that we can't conceive children someday and that's partly because of a pretty bad miscarriage I'd years ago. In turn, I worry about him being lonely and even quieter if I die first. Yondu. Crap was sad off and I actually cried a little in the theatre. Honestly, Yondu's death isn't the part that hits me the hardest. It's his funeral. The whole thing is just so well done and I just can't stop myself from shedding a few tears. Prim. Unlike most character deaths, it wasn't in the midst of the action slash excitement. It was after they'd won. It felt so spiteful and unnecessary. F coin. It felt unnecessary, but was anything but that. The entire theme of the series is the flawed nature of humans and how they always obliterate what's good and pure, with Prim being the very embodiment of everything good and pure. Her dying in an unnecessary way drives that theme home better than anything else in the series, which is saying a lot. It was symbolic. Prim started the revolution, and now the leader of the revolution killed her. It was a hell of a thing when Spark died. Hell of a thing. Live long and prosper. Finnick O'Dare from The Hunger Games. I remember being a junior in high school, reading Mockingjay in class, and then suddenly, Finnick dies. I was so taken aback and shocked, I had to look up from my book and glance around, because I thought I had made a noise. Turns out I didn't, but I had to read his death scene a few times to really understand what just happened. Needless to say, I started to tear up and had to go to the bathroom to calm down. El. Oh. That's Colin's move. One minute everyone's making a tense escape and then boom. It's almost slash worst slash in her middle grade series. I'll always and easily give her props for making her characters pay a heavy price for every success they won. It made the books much better than they could have been. Sokka, but mostly because we don't know how he died, and it bothers the F out of me. The moon came down, crashing into Earth while he was having sex with his Kyoshi warrior girlfriend. It may or may not have been a coincidence. Sounds rough. Logan, because I literally grew up with those movies and that character. When I went to bed after seeing it for a second time, I just cried, probably cried to sleep. It was as if my childhood ended there. Mufasa in The Lion King. I was going to say the same thing. Simba, seeing his dad dead, crying and talking to him, tear-filled and cuddling up to him is the biggest punch to the gut I could get. Bing bong. Fucking brutal. One more time. I've got a good feeling about this one. Fred Weasley. F man, I cry every single time I read that bit. I think it's because Percy has just come back and they're joking around, and then he's dead. I absolutely sobbed watching the movie when Ron realizes he's dead. Legion, on me three. That is heartbreaking more if you choose to kill him. Does this unit have a soul? 